Today in the livestock market, cattle was a little bit sideways. That steady cash is giving traders some confidence to step up and buy the market. However, it's not really like pushing it anywhere soon. Uh, it, this, uh, the issue is though, it's not enough to really narrow the gap with the cash just yet. Commitment of traders did show that funds are adding to those long positions. That's offering a little support as well. The futures uh, uh, today had a range that was kind of a repeat of Friday for not just the live cattle, but also for feeders. Now the uh, October is trading in the 177.450 area while the December's 178.60. Uh, uh, we're starting to move from October to December as, uh, as, uh, as the front month, but though, there's still a lot of activity on both sides. Seavel is at 14.4% on live cattle. Now the feeders were mixed kind of similar to the live cattle market. Those weak box beef prices and the slowing demand is kind of stalling the futures right here. Now, uh, with the feeders, the commitment of traders are really net sellers here. So that's a little bit different than uh, what we had on the other side. I don't know if that's really going to put any more pressure on the market. Um, October contract had a uh, $2.75 range. Again, a repeat from last Friday. Uh, we're looking at uh, approximate numbers of $2.39,525 for the October. And November is at $2.35,850. Seaval for the feeders is at 14.4%. The hogs were a little bit higher today. Those packers are buying after a strong weekend of slaughter pace. And the, uh, the uh, market is really, uh, we had a sideways market last week, but now we're kind of above that. And it really built a little bit of support here uh, right now. However, the commitment of traders there, the funds are reducing their long positions, but they are still long. October was up about two bucks. We got up to 86.75. Uh, December's high was 72,925. So these are just numbers to take a look at what we got today. Seaball was 21.5%.